Since DaVinci Resolve 19 has been released, there has been so much hype about the new film look creator effect which has been recently added to this video editing software. Today in this video I am going to show you a side by side comparison of the film look creator effect features versus the Dehancer Pro plugin to see if it is still worth it to get the Dehancer Pro. Let's go and find out. So here we are in the DaVinci Resolve version 19 and this is my latest color grading tutorial which I posted last week on my YouTube channel and if you haven't watched it please go and check it out, it is one of my favorite works and I really like the cinematic vibe of it, if I show you the before and after you see how far we came with the Dehancer plugin and some of the internal DaVinci Resolve effects and today I am going to test film look creator effect of the DaVinci Resolve which has reached recently been added to it to see if it has any chance against the Dehancer plugin and if the Dehancer Pro is worth it. So here I'm going to create a new node, parallel node with the Dehancer and in order to test them side by side and compare them, I will disable the Dehancer node and I will call this node the Film Look Creator and I'm going to select the Film Look Creator for this node, here I search for it. And here we have the film look creator. It doesn't look right because here we need to select the right color space overrides because we are working in a DaVinci white gamut zone. If you check the tutorial, you will get it. I will not explain it here because for the sake of the video time, I will want to select the input color space and gamma and the output as the Rec 709 because here for the CST, we have the output color space to Rec 709. So for the film look creator, again, we go to the color space and select the Rec 709 for all the options for the input gamma which is coming from the CST I select the Rec 709 and the output is going to be Rec 709 because we are exporting this video for the social media YouTube Instagram etc so I'm going to select the Rec 709 so as you see here we have the correct color space overrides and now we can check the options here which has been introduced with the film look creator so the first option which we have here is the film look and if I show you the core look we see five effects and it has not got so much variety in it and we have cinematic, Rochester, Akasaka, elated and vintage if I show you each one you see that it doesn't make so much change and it is just a subtle effect so if I show you the Dehancer I disable it and enable the Dehancer and we have all the modifications here but I just want to show you the film looks and the film stocks which we got here we have so many different variety of the film looks and if I show you the differences it just makes so much difference each film look has a different vibe to it and we got so much variety here and each one has a different vibe different look different tone and I just want to show you how much more film stocks we got here. I chose the Cine Steel 800 for this video in the latest color grading tutorial, but uh, we got so many other options here. I disabled the Dehancer, I enabled the Film Look Creator, and we only got five effects here. We have some presets uh, which changes all the options together, but I'm not going to use it and I'm going to show you each one separately. So this is the Film Look which we got here. Now let's go to the next option. The next option which we get with the film look creator is the color settings. We have exposure as you see here. We have contrast. We can do these with the other DaVinci Resolve tools also but we got this also in the film look creator. We can decrease and increase the highlights. We have fade option which adds fade to the black areas. We have white balance which makes it cooler or warmer and we got tint. These are just some basic changes and we have richness which I think makes the less saturated colors more saturated something like vibrance if I'm not wrong and we have bleach bypass effect I really like this option in this color settings it desaturates the shadows first I think if I'm not wrong this is the only special effect in the color settings and the other ones are just copy of the other settings and here we have the color settings for the film look creator but if I show you the Dehancer and we go to the color head we have so many options here in order to adjust the tones and this is what makes the Dehancer really special the colors which we make with the color head it is really awesome if you want to learn this go and 
check my previous video the tutorial one and this is for the color head in the dehancer and this is the color settings option comparison with the dehancer now if i go back to the film look creator and we go to the split tone here you see we have a split toning if i enable it and increase the amount you see that it just adds a default tone which is available in the footage increases it uh, in the shadows and highlights and you can just change the hue angle you do not have much more control over it it's just a default option and i do not really like this compared to the color head which we have here and you can change each option separately for the highlights mid-tones it is just much more flexible you can change anything you want and achieve the results you get with it it is just much more better i think with the dehancer now we go back to the film look creator and the next option is vignette as you see it is enabled by the default and if i increase the amount you see that it adds vignette and it has size and if i show you the difference with the dehancer we also got vignette option here if i show you here is the vignette options in the dehancer if i make it enabled you see that it is much more powerful in dehancer plugin it has much more control we can control the size the feather and the aspect ratio of it it is uh, much more like the photoshop and lightroom with much more options so i disable the dehancer and again go to the film look creator and the next option is halation it is enabled by default and as you see it adds a halo around the contrasty areas but uh, if i increase the amount i'm not sure if you can see it it just adds it around the sun here in this uh, shot but uh, if i compare it with the dehancer i disable this and go to the dehancer and here we go to the halation effect and you see that the halation here works differently and it adds a beautiful red halo which was available on the film stocks and it is just much more powerful and realistic compared to the real film stocks and we have a red halo uh, which is much more nicer again compared to the film look creator i go back and disable the dehancer and enable the film look creator and we go to the next option which is bloom and here we have the bloom option i increase the amounts to make it much more present and i enable and disable this you see that this is the bloom and if i increase the radius you see how this bloom effect works on the footage and this is for the film look creator and now i disable the film look creator and enable the dehancer and i go to the bloom effect and as you see here the bloom effect on the dehancer again i think uh, this is much more beautiful but again compared to the halation the film look creator is working good against the dehancer in the bloom option but again i like the customization which you get with the dehancer plugin and the options here which gives you so much capability to adjust it according to your needs again i go back and disable the dehancer and enable the film look creator and we have the grain option now this is where the dehancer shines if i show you the grain here if i increase the amount you see how the grain performs here you see this grain is just much digitally and it doesn't have that filmic vibe to it but if i show you the film grain of the dehancer you will understand what i mean if i disable this film look creator and enable dehancer you see how much natural this this grain looks with the dehancer plugin it's just something that is baked in the film stock and that gives the same feeling of the old film stocks which the grain was baked in the natural form of the film stock and if i show you we can play with the options and increase the amount and the more i increase it again it has that natural feeling to it it's not digital at all and i think it is just much more beautiful than the film look creator the film grain of the dehancer which again i think makes it much more special than the film look creator i disable the dehancer and go back to the film look creator and here we have the gate view it just uh, moves the video footage a little bit it's just the effect which was present in the old stocks and the footage moves a little bit up and down you can change the amount and it moves the footage up and down you, can, you might not see it so much here because it is moving so much but we have this option also on the dehancer if i show you i did not enable it i think in the tutorial but here as you see it just crops a little bit 
and moves the footage up and down and you can change the impact to achieve different effects with it. I do not use it so much. So again, I go back to the enhancer and disable it and enable the film look creator. And we have the film gate effect. And the film gate effect is something which adds a black border around the film. It makes it like a old footage. And if I disable this and enable the enhancer, do not see this option here, the film gate. But I think we have over scan here, which again i uh, i had not used this over scan option it is the same effect but with much more options and you can see you can enable and change everything here we have much more options here in the dehancer i had not used this effect but this is really cool uh, if you like to use it for your projects for your creative works it's just something good to look at it and again we have much more options here compared to the film look creator I disable this and disable the enhancer and go to the film look creator and I will disable the film gate and last option is the global blend which I'm not going to use and here was the overall look which I had to the film look creator and I think it's a good a starting point for the people which do not want to invest in the enhancer but if you want really professional filmic look vibes and cinematic results I think the enhancer is really worth it also do not forget that we get so many more options here in the dehancer the film developer and the film compression which compresses the highlights and makes a beautiful effect especially in the videos which have high clipping points and you can compress the highlights in order to make it filmic and we have the expand option which uh, enables you to set the black point and white point which is a really good option and here we get also the monitor option the clipping indication which you can use in order to set your clipping points with this expand option as you see here it is really handy and this dehancer plugin gives you so many different options Options. here we have the false color which is just really awesome gives you so much capability and there are lots of other options which I did not deep dive into it in this video but you can check it yourself so this was a side-by-side -side comparison of the Dehancer Pro plugin versus the film look creator effect which has been recently introduced with the DaVinci Resolve 19 what do you think guys is the new film look creator effect going to replace the Dehancer Pro plugin in the near future I would be glad to hear your opinions and do not forget that you can get the Dehancer Pro plugin with 10% off by using my promo code Mehran X. HD. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will be seeing you in my future videos. Goodbye.